Today, we will be discussing the 5-1 rotations for serve receive in volleyball. On the right of the screen, you can see a key to help you identify what each player position is on the court. We have one setter, one opposite, two outside hitters, two middle blockers, and a libero. We will start in rotation one. In this rotation, the setter is in right back with the outside hitter one in right front. The middle blocker two is in middle front, the opposite is in left front, and the outside hitter two is in left back. And the libero has replaced the middle blocker one and the back row is in the middle back position. When the setter goes back to serve, the players can get in a better position to make the necessary switches. We want to put our outside hitters on the left side of the court, our middle blockers in the middle, and the opposite on the right side in the front row as soon as possible. In the back row, we want our libero to get to left back, outside hitter to middle back, and our setter to right back as soon as they can as well. When the serve is contacted by the server, then all players can switch to their needed positions. After the switches are made, the players need to move to what is called base position. Each team or coach may have different base positions, but these are some basic ones here that we will use for this video. We have moved the players back to their regular rotation, where they are located on the court, to make it more easy to show how to set up for serve receive. In all of our rotations, we will be using a three-person serve receive. This is that we will have three people that are responsible to pass the serve. We will always utilize our outside hitters, OH1 and OH2, and the libero for our serve receive. In rotation one, the setter, the right back player, must stay behind the outside hitter one, the right front player. Once the opponent contacts the serve, she is free to release to her setting position. After we hit the ball back over the net to the opponent's side, the players will need to switch to their defensive positions. Outside hitter one to the left front, middle blocker two to the middle front, and opposite to the right front of the court. In the back row, the setter will play right back, the outside hitter two will play middle back, and the libero will play left back. Your coach might want to have your libero play middle back and outside hitter play left back, but in this video, we will have our libero play left back and our outside hitters play middle back on defense. After we have sighted out and it is our turn to serve, we will rotate positions. This will put us into rotation two, or second server. The outside hitter one rotates back to serve and after they serve, the players move to their defensive positions. After the opponent sides out and it is their turn to serve, we will go to our regular and then set up for serve receive. This is the serve receive for rotation two. You have to keep in mind your overlaps so you are in the proper rotations and not out of position. After the opponent serves, the players, both front row and back row, will need to make switches to their correct positions. After we have sided out and it is our turn to serve, we will rotate positions. This will put us into rotation three or third server. When the middle blocker two rotates back to serve, we are going to let the libero serve instead for the MB2. The libero can serve for any one player, but usually they serve for a middle blocker. After the libero serves, the players move to their defensive positions. After the opponent sides out and it is their turn to serve, we will go to regular rotation and then set up for serve receive. This is the serve receive for rotation three. You have to keep in mind of your overlaps so you are in the proper rotations and not out of position. After the opponent serves, the players, both front row and back row, will need to make the switches to their correct positions. After we have sided out and it is our turn to serve, we will rotate positions. This will put us into rotation four or fourth server. The opposite rotates back to serve. After the opposite serves, the players move to their defensive positions. After the opponent sides out and it is their turn to serve, we will go to regular rotation then set up for serve receive. This is the serve receive for rotation four. You have to keep in mind of your overlaps so you are in the proper rotations and not out of position. After the opponent serves, the players, both front row and back row, will need to make the switches necessary to their correct defensive positions. After we have sided out and it is our turn to serve, we will rotate positions. This will put us into rotation five or fifth server. The outside hitter two rotates back to serve. After the OH2 serves, the players move to their defensive positions. After the opponent sides out 
and it is their turn to serve, we will go into the regular rotation and then set up for serve receive. This is a serve receive for rotation 5. You have to keep in mind of your overlaps so you are in the proper rotations and not out of position. After the opponent serves, the players, both front row and back row, will need to make the switches to their correct defensive positions. After we have sighted out and it is our turn to serve, we will rotate positions. This will put us into rotation 6, or 6 server. The middle blocker 1 rotates back to serve. After the middle blocker 1 serves and the players move to their defensive positions, middle blocker 1 will play left back, where the barrel usually plays. After the opponent sides out, and it is their turn to serve, we will go into regular rotation. The libero will switch with the MB1, and then we will set up for serve receive. This is a serve receive for rotation 6. You have to keep in mind of your overlaps, so you are in the proper rotations and not out of positions. After the opponent serves, the players, both front row and back row, will need to make the switches to their proper positions. After we have sided out and it is our turn to serve, we will rotate positions. This will put us back into rotation 1 for the first server. And we would repeat these rotations until the end of the match. Good luck, and we hope that this helps you with your team and your rotations.